of your baby brain. Now let me start by saying that ministry delivers a commission. And maybe some Christians may not understand that the word commission means assignment. Just like as me and you don't look alike. Just as me and you don't look alike, no ministry should be the same. No church should be the same. What people actually try to do, they try to fought churches as maybe they said. We are not doing like we are chapter in our church. We are just going to do like we are chapter in our church. We are not supposed to do like lost music in our church. Why? Mandate gives difference. Mandate. Our difference is in our mandate. Mandate gives different. Like take for example when God called me the mandate of my ministry was set up a light for liberty. That has to do with and the Bible says can you put it off media Psalm 119 verse 113 the entrance of thy word Give that light. So I am not what we do in our commission here is different from what we we'll be doing in other church. Say so the entrance of thy words. Give that light. That light there has to do with knowledge, information. Remember what Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now that mandate, that mandate separates us. That mandate separates us. What we are called to do, no church is called to do. I, I, I wish somebody understand that. That separates us. We, we should not try to be like any other church. If we try to be like any other church, the light of our church will be behind the person that's already shining. But most of the time, we want to be like other people because those people are better than us or we feel that those people are better than us. Praise God. Oh, I so praise God. So what is our mandate? Set up a light for and the Holy Spirit helped me to define that word light. I wish if you can get it, maybe I can try and put it up for them. The word light. Let me just try to explain the word light. The L stands for information. The G there, the, the, the I there stands, okay, the L stands for living, then the, inf, the I is information, the G is gathered, living information gathered. Then the H stands for highly, highly, living information gathered. Highly triumphant. So when, when you say you have light, you have gathered information that are highly triumphant. Because for example, if you get an information, you, you heard um, uh, uh, the, the man of God, Bishop David Rebecca said, I put the light over prosperity. It was an information he gathered that helped him triumph over lack and want. So the light there means information, living information, because the word of God is living. 
It's a living information gathered. What is it? I need triumphant. If you have light, it will help you to triumph. Because light will help you. Anytime I have if you are you are faced with a problem, it's a form of darkness. So when you say light has come, you triumph over that darkness. Because anytime you own light, darkness disappears. Darkness does not struggle with light. Light is superior to darkness. Anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, like, like the prayers we started in church. I caught it today, so I have to tell her to leave it. I caught it today. A man of God was preaching and I caught it. Anywhere there is cloud, cloud gathers. Anywhere there is cloud. Anywhere there is C L O U D. The cloud will gather. What is the cloud? The Holy Spirit. Then that sons of Solomon said, put that son of Solomon up. Sons of Solomon. Glory to God. Sons of Solomon. Sons of Solomon. Okay. Now. Son of Solomon, look, look at what he said. Can, can we all go together if you can? He said, I went all much way. Anytime you hear the word way in the Bible, um, some of the time he's talking about the Holy Spirit. They are went all much way. You remember the quake that the children of Israel ate in Numbers chapter 11 because the wind that brought it. So he said, I went all much way and come, that sound will blow upon my garden. Anytime you hear the word garden, he's talking about the church. So when God said, Blow upon my church, uh-huh, that the spices thereof may do what? What are spices? They are very interesting things. You see, God can be walking in the church and people around the church don't know what is happening. And if they don't know what is happening, they will come. They don't be passing on there. One church day there, there's one church there, one church day there, one church day there. But let the spices come out. Wow, that church they are full of the world. That church they are full of power. And they start hearing those kind of information. They, they said that the spices they all may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden. People will come when they know that God does things in the church and, and God does things in our church. But a lot of people are not aware. Perhaps we are not sharing it. But when the Holy Ghost takes over what is doing the church, you find out that the Holy Ghost will appear to people in the dream and say, Hey, that is your church. But somebody is having no problem. The, the, the Holy Spirit will tell the person, Go there, so we get solution there. That's why we need to pray that prayer for now. Appetize your church. Holy Ghost, announce your church. Holy Ghost, don't just manifest there, revealing your church. Praise the Lord. It was, it was, uh, it was information I gathered. So, life means living information gathered and triumph. But, but you walk that life. I think I, I'm reading, uh, I was reading the book of Isaiah, I think Isaiah chapter 8, that is my personal reading. And the Bible said, let, let's see whether we can get that scripture. Isaiah chapter 8. Um, let's go to the ending part. Let me see the last five verses of the ending part. Let me see what it is. Isaiah chapter 8. The last five verses of the ending part. Isaiah chapter 8. And if you can be fast, you can. Ah, I like this. So behold, I and the children who the Lord has given to me, they are for what? I tell you, that ought to be pastor that don't have signs and wonders. What God does through me, He should do for me. They are for signs and wonders in Israel for what? The Lord of the Lord written for what? God is here. Hallelujah. 
Because the church is not the pastor's idea. No, amen. Go to the next one. Let's let's go to the next one. Is, is that the last five verses? Okay. Oh yeah, John, John, go to go to the next one. Let me see what is there. I'm looking for a verse there. Aha, I like this. I like this. He said to the and to the testimony. If they speak not according to his word, if they not speak according to his word, because there is no light. When light comes, your statements changes. You can't be saying you are sick when you catch the light of you. You, excuse me, no matter how poor you are, if you catch the light of prosperity, you will not agree. All you may have beat you and you came to church, if the light is in you, you'll be speaking from the reign of light. He said, listen, he said to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. Do you know why you are not speaking according to the word? You don't have the light. You don't have the light. If they speak God, there is no light. I hope it's light. Living information gathered, highly trial. A soft light. Great to come. I don't like your aim on that. So let's, let's see something from Isaiah chapter 6, 8 to 11. Then, you know, it's, it's our month of wisdom. So I, I want to, as we are rounding up the month, let me try and um, do concluding part. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. 8 to 11. Can we all read together if you can? Just let's read together. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, said I. I yeah, am. Um, so, he go on, go on, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell these people. Now, listen. Go and tell these people. You know, people despise preaching and preachers. That's why they stay long in program. They want preachers to be performers. But you see, I will hardly reach you if you don't follow my preaching. So he said, he said, and he said, go and tell these people. Hear me indeed. Read on. You know me, I want uh, You see, they, they, they don't perceive, they don't understand. Now you see what we have to mess. Because when, when people ignore understanding, there are consequences. Go to the next one. Verse 10. Start and the ideas. What? Because those are the and Hello? Hello? When your, when your ears are heavy, you know what it means? When your ears are heavy, you don't take the preaching serious. Just have that my pastor can preach. You you are you hey, it's something to take what the pastor is saying, you are celebrating his eloquency, his grammatic excellence. Wow. So you are just what I'm saying, it's not reflecting your life. The Bible said your ears are fat and your ears are heavy. I want so much. not seeing. Anytime you're preaching is preached, you should see from me. Okay, I read the next statement. And here with your ears are what? And what? And the Lord. You see the process of information. When you hear with confidence, you understand. When you understand what comes next, you will be combated. That compassion there means to disagree with what you are passing through. Okay, take for example now. I am homeless. I remember many years ago when I read the book of Petroni, he said, When you have been good houses, and I'm homeless. But you see, if you don't fight with that war, you don't have the house. You don't I remember Bishop Eric, I was meeting one of his teachings, and he said Pastor Dibori was staying in one room in Muslim Lagos, West Africa, and could not pay, was struggling to pay for the rent. 
Then one day God just met him and said, you know what? I'm going to give you a city. And the city has come to pass. Do you know, the, this camp we are talking about in Lagos, in Oku State, West Africa, is along a major road to a, a city called Ibarra. Now, the church has brought from that outside and broken to the back, the back side of that church and instead of to a place called Ikorobi. Hello? But it will not pay its house today for that information giving lights. And it, it's so dead with the lights. That, that information changes her. You know, when they say you are converted, it means you are in disagreement with, okay, like if they say you convert from your maybe religion to another religion. You are forsaking the other religion and you have embraced whatsoever demand this religion is facing on you. So when, when you say you have gotten the light and you are converted, you disagree with your sickness even when the pain is there. <coughs> you start shouting on your poverty. You will not talk to me for a moment of agreement with my lack. That, that's why your face should not betray your revelation. Your face. Because of those things betray their revelation. They are sad. They are the words I'm not eating. If you cut the revelation of prosperity, you will tell anybody you are not eating. People who are rich, pity, they can give you food you take, but you will be the one announcing all the words to finish me. You are cutting the revelation. I start speaking based on what God has said. Oh my God, I wish somebody can catch it. It said, yes, they see with their eyes. Uh -huh. I want to. 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 I for nine years. It's, it's celebrating children. Convert. Revelation brings conversion. Revelation. It makes you change your mind. Even when you are sick, you'll be excited. And the book keeps on stop giving me the Bible said, because you are putting the light. You are putting the light. You are speaking from that realm. Like God had to combat Abraham, but he gave him a name from Abraham to Abraham. That's conversion. That's what That's why you should change your name. Start speaking based on where you are going to. I've said it all over and over again. I'm pastoring a mega church. I'm pastoring a church without walls because of the multitude of people. They will come. And I have to start working on myself. I have to drive myself. I have to be stubborn. Boy, I want to be the legacy behind. I want people to know that one guy called Japheth Philip is so happy to be said. Hallelujah. Now, now let's, let's look at the next one. Look at the next one. We are going to verse 11. And then I'll start saying some things. I, I want to draw my heart. Then said I, Lord, how long? And the answer, until the city is the Lord. So that is what, when there is no revelation, there is waste. That when witches kill people, no revelation. Sicknesses kill people. Excuse me. That sickness ought not to kill you. Because if there's revelation of healing, it can kill you. If you know your habitant shall say, I am sick. You know who prove your statement. Because your statement determines your state. Hello? Your statement do what? Your statement do what? My son shall say, He said, They said, I Lord, how long will he answer me until the cities be wasted without a habitat and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate? So, when there is no revelation, there is waste. Now, what is one now? When revelation is not accepted, there will be desolation. 
be afraid of revelation. We will be desolated. How do I know that we are not receiving a revelation? Desolation. Blindness. At least, if you start walking, excuse me, if you start walking the revelation, you should start feeling drugs. Hello? <laughs> oh my God. Start saying drugs. When there is no revelation, our revelation is accepted. When there is no revelation, our revelation is not accepted, there will be desolation. Desolate. So you will find out what God affects. That's where revelation begins. So that's what the devil is trying to do. Make our hearts to be dull. You come to church to be sleeping when they are preaching. They want to go into you don't even go to and make research. Apart from what I preach, I do personal studies, personal reading. Hallelujah. Like this uh, Isaiah chapter 8 we read, I read the is it the the amplified classic. I was shouting. Wow. I have a place that gave me problems. He said, Don't fear their fear. Don't fear their fear. He said, Sanctify the Lord only as your fear. You know what it means? You like Kill me in the dream and I saw your face. I will wake up and say you are nonsense. He said, you know what he said? He said, only make fear only God. Every other person who say, who cares what you are saying? A revelation. Somebody say revelation. Now, what I want for revelation is the word understanding. What I want for revelation is what? The moment the revelation has come to you, it's because you now have understanding. Like maybe a revelation about setting up a business come to you. You now have an understanding on how to set up that business. So another word for revelation is understanding. The place of understanding is the place of divine working. God will never walk. In a place where understanding has not come. You read it there. It's just so that they will see and hear and be converted so that I will heal them. How does God, what is healing? They find happening. They find working. They want them to work for you. What is the key? Understanding. That I'll be asking you. Huh? The place of understanding, when the where understanding is not accepted, there will be desolation, there will be dryness. But anywhere there is understanding and revelation, God will be working. He will be working. At point of medicine, they will be asking you, how are you doing it? I don't like doing that at all. How are you doing it? Understanding. The place of understanding, the place of divine workings, divine happening. That's what revelation does. Another word for revelation is what? Understanding. Understand. Like, um, you know, I, I was listening to a man of God recently, and he was sharing the, the seven places where the blood dropped from Jesus. That's why we have to believe God for this church. He said when they were beating Jesus, they blew him and beat him on his face. Listen. What is the place of the face? Acceptance. So when you don't have acceptance, like when a woman they, they are not attracted to pull a husband. They are, the enemy has tampered with your face. And if you apply the blood of Jesus on your face, it is it's looking ridiculous. Someone will say, Chapter Philip is why I'm not gonna walk. Throw on the on the substance of the blood 
your face. Because that face is, you know what they say? Your face. When it is, I've ever heard like in, in Nigeria where we are from, West Africa, they say, shame day face. Huh? All those scandals they, they ever bring to churches is to put something on the face of the churches. So they, they don't want to accept the church. But when you do, we choose the people. Oh my God! So this is what happened. Nobody is telling you as a woman get the blood. They get seven days by the blood. I can't be understanding. Now, one of the things they did, they put a a ton of crown on his head. You know, they pushed it in. Blood came out. Blood came out. So when the lot of life is heavy on you, they clear the blood on your head. Oh my God! What did they do from his hands? They pierced his feet. What did they come for? What is the hand? The blade of your blessing. What did they do on his feet? Oh. That's symbolic. You can understand me. Someone just say, I beg you. And then someone just say, I beg you. Just pierced him. What does he have to show? Whoa. What did he do on the back? That came from his back. The blood that came from his back from very healing. So all the places the blood came out, they are for application. But it's understanding. When there is understanding, there's divine happening. Glory to God. Oh my God, I wish to make a catch that. Hallelujah. So revelation open things for men. From God. Let me say it again. Understanding or revelation open things up for men from God. Anytime it gives you understanding, it's opening you up to bless him. Somebody said he was waiting on God, and God said to him, my prosperity plan does not answer to prayer and fasting. Yeah, because some of you like want to get money now. Age of money. Age of money. That's why we pray most of the time. We don't get the money. He said it is not it does not answer to prayer and fasting. You don't claim me because you attend church. God has said to him, as long as the earth remember, see that if there is a sick time in your life, that's understanding, that's revelation. And the man is one of the wickedest men on the earth. That's what we are talking about. Understanding will open you up for God to do something for you. <laughs> hey, Alan, so caught the revelation about the name of Jesus. He just understood authority that if I was casting out demon, he wanted to the demon. Hey, my name is A. Ali. Do not be crying out. Understand me. I'm not so busy. So, how can you say A. Ali? How can you use, how can you just take a uh, black corn and just say, I come into the blood of Jesus? I wipe my face with you. I remove face of shame from my path so that if marriage is not coming, I will be presentable and attracting to a man that should marry me. It's understandable. Hallelujah. Oh, I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The revelation opens things to men from who? From God. Tell me also one thing. One of the things revelation also gives, revelation gives expectation. Okay. 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 You open your phone today and you had <laughs> you just got a piece of information that your uncle in America is coming to Nigeria. 
Nobody will buy commission box. My uncle is coming. My uncle is coming. Anywhere there is no revelation, there can be no expectation. To have revelation is to have expectation. I call the revelation of prosperity. What do I start expecting? What do I start expecting? So I, I, I stop talking from the realm of poverty. You know, so some people are still talking there. But some people are just looking at our church and say, how can this church be a mega church? When it's revelation, it will come to a mega church. Because the currency of change is revelation. Understanding. Understanding will bring change. You know, there are people that I'm talking here. Eh? The way they talk, you think that the people does not exist. The man will say, the devil that will kill me, you have not to be better than the devil. And the devil is killing, killing people everywhere. I'm telling you, right? Yeah, it was said about the late with me, with me, came to his panel and his rocking chair was just shaking. And he just on his slide. The rocking chair was shaking. I saw a picture of the devil. Oh, the fetter, you are the one. Oh my God, you can't disrupt my sleep. He switched off the light, went back to sleep. It was a big boy. They will call prayer band. And is that uh, the prayer band leader? Satan is in my house now. I got one scripture that I see used to pray recent time. He said, There shall no man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. So make you to cool. You know what the back is ready. Okay, okay, okay. You know, if you have an understanding, not that you are not praying, you, know? you are careful what you eat, where you eat, where you sit down, where you bath, where you walk on. But, uh, more than nothing will happen to you. Hallelujah. May you have understanding. Revelation releases. Expectation. The what? Revelation is expectation. Not revelation, you don't know what to expect. Have it? No revelation. You don't know what I call people classes in Africa. Maybe you just see God in the field telling you, your pen of cards are here. So what do you start expecting? Ah. No revelation. And uh, don't forget that scriptures is not the only fountain of revelation. The place of revelation is not only in scriptures. You can have revelation through encounters in the dream. Through prophecy, when a revealed utterance is given to you, maybe a man of God come to your come to church, or the man of God just speak, just stand you up and say, "I see cars coming." It releases expectation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's why we are not talking many things. You know why? The revelation came. Let, 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 let me, but before I make that statement, let, let me read this to you. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 14. Proverbs 24, verse 14. Wow. Proverbs 24, can you read from, from verse 14? It says, So shall be what? What only the knowledge of wisdom? Only that can be. If, if, if you look at it, it said the knowledge of wisdom. It is a knowledge. The knowledge of wisdom. In other words, that wisdom has been broken down for you. That wisdom is understandable with knowledge. He said, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou as what? When thou as what? And in your expectation. If you're wrong with the revelation, it's not going to be cut off. Because you can't even the father of many nations. I saw it. 
Non mais quand vous vous êtes Non mais so now they may be oppressing you wrong with your revolution. Let it become your confidence. Hey, let it let it become your confidence. Stand me, there shall be a reward and thy expectation. Thy expectation shall not be covered. So, what do you do? Accept the revelation, accept the expectation from revelation. I would like you to write it down. Accept the expectation. From the revelation. Anytime revelation has come to you, expect what revelation has said to you. Accept it. Because that acceptance fills your compassion, determines your action. You know, you know people, they don't receive the, the expectation revelation brings to them. Instead of them to see what the revelation said, they still see themselves in the light of their situation. Oh my God. I mean, did you get that? Don't see yourself in the light of your situation. See yourself in the light of, of your revelation. When you see that light, that light is called expectation. Like that's why I told you, I keep on seeing my people answering this church without war. Without war. Accept, accept the picture of your revelation. What is that picture called? Expectation. Like when God said, um, Count the stars, so shall your descendants be. What was the expectation? Two people, multitude of people. So we got to see children. He said, He see himself from the picture of his situation. What was the picture of his situation? What's the picture of revelation? I, I tell you, you, if you don't do that, Abraham will not change anything. Abraham was praying, nothing changed. That's why God had to. I, I know in a um, uh, prophetic word conference, I shared about that. I think I shared about this Abraham. God, okay, I shared it with one of the services. God had to change pictures for him. Brought him and said, Count the stars. Because Abraham was not catching it. He was not seeing differently. He was able to say, Let this man leave. God said, No. What I want to do is not by Israel. May God give us revelation. <laughs> Expectation. Write this one now. It will help you then. I'll try. Expectation helped me to put my revelation into action. Expectation helps me to put my revelation into what? Action. Because I start acting based on what I saw myself. Like when Abraham saw himself as a father of nations, is that acting like one? So when I want an expectation about prosperity, Expectation will make me to act on what I saw. Okay, let, let me let me give you. Okay, let, let me give you one of the. Okay, what is one of the picture? What is one of the expectation? What what's one of the um, action that expectation will help you to give when you come to the mission of prosperity? You start being the one to give, not to take. I don't I don't even say give us there. Never lack. You are not going to let me. You don't have the picture of prosperity. I start acting on that picture. That picture will make me Libra. I believe it's so. So, all of you that are that will understand like this, you don't have the, you're always going to save your money. See, my, my country is becoming a difficult place, so we don't know what's ahead of our country. So let's hold our money. Some of you, you have 10 places in your house where you are keeping money. 
when God has took message when you, when you channel your money. Stinginess <laughs> is a picture. Since you don't know, you don't know the picture, you are acting on it. Expectation helps me to put my revelation into action. What are they having to do? Expectation, don't you know, helps me to put my revelation into action. The revelation will make me to start acting based on what I saw. Like, say, for example, and if we just read there, you said, and they are saying, 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 and if you said in that story, he carried his, his uh, bicycle that day in the ancient city of Benin, and thought it would be for when people died. And he came across one house, one person had died there. So he went, jacked the person all back to life, and that was it. May, may we get a revelation like that that will propel action from us? No, 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 some of us, we are packed people with revelation, but we are just sitting there in the church. We are not acting our revelation. Take for example, you are just sitting there again, whatsoever you bind or them, whatsoever, that will hurt you, whatsoever, whatsoever, then you are having this rolling stomach for three days. They just start checking you running so much, I bind you. Stop operating. No, they don't know how to. They don't want to act to it. We're looking for pastor to pray for them. If I'm looking for who to pray for me, the way I'm looking for people to pray for you, by now, we will have a church. <laughs> well, pastor will be away. Going to a battle, going to the boom of some looking for who to pray for you. Revelation. Somebody shout revelation. Somebody shout it. Say revelation. I feel like Solomon shouted to God. He said, Give me an understanding heart. Give me an understanding heart. Give me an understanding First King chapter 3, 5 to 10. First King chapter 3, 5 to 10. Let, let's just do this. This is the last scripture for today. They were not good. Are you ready at all? First Kings chapter 3, verse 5 to 10. He said, He did what the Lord appeared to Solomon in the dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall want. Now look at what happened. Go to the next slide. Different the verse 6, verse 6. And Solomon said, Thou hast shown unto thy servant David, my father, a great mercy, according as he has worked before me in truth. And the righteousness and the ordinances of my hand with thee, and thou have kept him, thou have kept for him this great kindness, that thou have given him the soul to sit on the throne as it is as it is this day, this day, the seventh. Oh God, my oh God, my God, thou have made thy servant king instead of David, my father, and I've got a little child, I know not how. So what is revelation? How? How, how, how to come out, how to do it, how to go out or come in. Verse 8, which you remember, go to verse 10, please. And thy servant is the least of these, the great people whom thou have chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered, nor covered from multitude. Verse 9, give therefore thy servant what? You don't understand the talk, ruling will be easy. That's why I cried from the understanding. What well, this church I'm pastoring, give me an understanding. This job I'm doing, give me an understanding. Maybe your marriage is having problems, you will pray for it. Give me an understanding. Huh? That I may decide before 
good and bad, for who is able to judge these so great people? Look at it, look at it. The prayer of understanding is a pleasurable prayer in the ears of God. The prayer of what? It's what? A pleasurable prayer. Look at the sand. The sand, the sand. And the speech pleases the Lord. We are trying to come out of the problems, they are not changing. You know the problem? The devil is no longer the problem in that problem. What is the problem? Lack of understanding. The prayer of understanding is a prayer of his nature. That's what we are going to pray tonight. The prayer of the prayer of understanding is what? A prayer of his work, pleasure. Lord, I'm trying to run this business, but not so heavy. What must I do? We are just there three days. Marita, Rebogel, Barano, Jacques, the Benomono, in so called Botoboma, and Colonel Cogrede. We are just waking up again. Lord, I'm not continuing what to do. Show me what to do. And the Bible said, The speech please the Lord. The speech means the law. Let us not die to our writing. The things we lack reflects a lack of understanding. The things we lack reflects a lack of understanding. Or the refusal to accept and walk with the understanding that has come to us. Let me say it again. The things we lack reflects what? A lack of understanding or a refusal to accept and work with the understanding that has come to us. And let, me, let me say this to you, sir. One of the reasons why we don't run with the understanding we have is fear. Fear. What about you? Don't work. Yeah. Some of us are not praying for the sick. You know, say if we pray for the sick, you know the sick has to remember huh? it starts out. How about if I pray the woman dies? What's your business? You shall lay hand upon the sea and then shall let it fall. So a lack of understanding, the things we lack reflects a lack of understanding or refusal to accept. And walk with the understanding that has come to us. How are you for this place? Are you more certain? So don't, don't let fear hold you down. Let, let me add this one. Psalm 119. I close from there. Psalm 119, verse 144. Psalm 109, verse 144. I like this. It says, The righteous, the righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. What are the testimony there? The word of God. The righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. Read the next one to me. Give me understanding and I shall be. Give me understanding. And I stand. Don't me. I wrote it down there. I said, need from understanding. Don't just need. What do you need from? I don't. I don't. I don't want to insist. That's that's one of the things I'll be telling myself in this car. I want to make impact. Hallelujah. Give me understanding. I don't want to just live. I want to live for Like maybe you are, you are even in trust. People's words can just get you off balance. 
get understanding. So no matter what you say, I'm not feeling it. Papa Jaffet is this, Papa Jaffet is that. I'm just relaxed, doing my thing. Who cares what you say? Because what you say cannot change God's mind about me. 